Hello and welcome to Blocks Master. My name is Elder, and this is the new tutorial for Blocks 4. And this is going to be a very quick and simple tutorial. It was asked to me a few times recently, how did I achieve this button on my website? And what this button does is actually brings the email client, this is the fields for email and subject populated. Actually, let's go to browser preview and I will show you better you can see how this looks it is it stays at the same place on all devices and when people click on it it will bring the email client this is the subject my email and people can just type I need help or whatever this will go directly to me so to do that all we need to do is put the button it can also be an icon or button or anything you can even put the Im image there if you want some svg icon or whatever i use the button because i wanted to have a little animation which we have built in in the buttons of course we can add this separately but i just want to keep it simple and if you want for this button to be available on all pages you need to add it to the footer so i think i have added this somewhere yeah, it is here, as you can see, the last thing on the page. And it can be placed anywhere. And after I, I place it, I just add one class. You can see result class, it will look like this and it will be positioned here. But when I add this class, it will change the positioning of this button to this corner. Now, there is one thing you need to keep in mind is that by default, well, we don't see it now, but by default, Blocks has the scroll to top button enabled on all pages. And when it is enabled and you place this icon in this corner, they will overlap sometimes like this. So if you are keeping your scroll to top button, make sure you place this button somewhere else. Or you can place this email button here or chat, whatever you can call it, whatever you want and you can move the scroll to top button somewhere else For, to do that just go to class manager add the scroll to top uh, buttons scroll to top button and move it anywhere you want using the same technique i'm going to show you in a sec for the scroll to top button so before we go to the another project and do it from scratch this is how i have styled it i just made it perfectly square i have added a lot of radius so it is perfectly round and uh, I think I just set the color on normal color and for hover it is a little bit different and that's all I did. I put the uh, emoji instead of the text here but you can also keep text or you can include the icon and if you do that well you will you, you can style this icon differently so for example instead of the email emoji you can have email icon styled any way you want and it will do the same thing and by the way i have the text here which looks like that mail to my email and then there is a couple of other things i will put this in the description but basically this is question mark subject equals message this goes for the um, space so percentage 20 from percentage 20 eg percentage 20 website and this will give me message from eg website title so this is another website and this one does not have any floating icons or anything let's go to preview and it doesn't have any scroll to top buttons either or it does have scroll to top button so honestly i'm not a big fan of it anyway so i will disable it and instead of the scroll to top button i want to have a icon which will go to email client or like i said you can use this icon for opening some model this contact form or something like that so what i will usually do i will put the button somewhere in the footer it doesn't really matter where it is because it will be moved somewhere else completely anyway I won't even style it as much. Let's just give it some color and chat, whatever. I will name this chat 
Let's make it round, not round, rounded. And I will add the class chat button. And all I need to do to place it floating somewhere in the corner is go to the positioning tab and set the position to fixed. As you can see, we can't see it now. <laughs> we will give it some Z index so it is visible always over all of the con all of the content we have. And I will give some margin. This is edge like top, not top. I mean, maybe bottom and left and right if you want to have it on the right or left if you want to have it on the left like this, you can see right now it is on the left. If I place it on the right like this, it will be in this area. And that's all actually. So once again, we can put we can put something else here, for example, some emoji speaker. Okay, let's say we want to use this emoji here. And like I said, we can change the style to anything we want. Of course, we can position the icon perfectly, but well, this, this is not about what I want to do here. And we go to navigate to URL. If we want to use just email without any subjects or anything else, we can select actually email link and type just email address like that. And if we go to preview, you can see we have this button. It is visible everywhere. And when we click on it, it will bring the well email client, this email address populated. Okay, so I think that's it for this video. If you have any questions or need help with anything, as always, leave them in the comments below or get in touch using this button on my website. And I will do my best to get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. I will talk to you in the next video.